This video is for all of my musician friends because I find this kind of thing really interesting of what gear people have and what people use. Um, I'm a massive believer in just like using what you have um, and not investing loads and loads of money into kit that you cannot afford. Um, to start with, focus right interface. Um, I Before this I had another one, it's died. I've liked it so much I've purchased it twice and it's never done me wrong. I've got a two channel one, really easy. It's like the most basic thing that people advise you to get. And plus it looks really nice when I do this. I feel like a, like a weird beauty guru. Ooh. I don't understand what's going on with the light because the real light is over here but then I'm too lit over here. Who knows, but it looks lovely. Obviously I use this to record all the stuff on my microphone. All the stuff that is on guitar. So like bass, guitar, record it through this. Just like using normal jack to jack lead. Um, and that's that. The microphone. And the vocalist, obviously I can't do without using a microphone. This is the um, horribly named SEX1. What a terrible name for a piece of gear. It sounds fine. You can listen to any of the, the vocals that I've put out on Spotify. And this is the mic that I was using for all of them. So if you want to hear what that sounds like in context, you can go and listen to all the tracks. Um, I will link my Spotify down below so you can go and have a nose. Um, it's fine. It does the job. Um, it's a better than some of the USB ones that I have used in the past that my partner has. He has a USB one um, and this is better for me. It's very, very battered and I've had it for four years now. Done me only favours. So here you go. There's that. Also using the microphone, I do use a pop shield. And obviously there is a mic stand, but I cannot be bothered bringing the mic stand all the way over here to show you. But yes, a mic stand is a mic stand, you don't need to know what mic stand I use. And eventually I really would like to upgrade the microphone to something a little bit better because I can kind of, I'm starting to hear the difference between mics now, I can really hear the difference. And the other bit of kit that I have that did me really well until this week when it died, um, audio, piano, um, I record all the keys and any kind of um, pads and things through this and it's been really useful. I've like ran this through my laptop so that I can teach vocals um, and this this has lasted me four years. Um, what happened was the the USB cable, um, like the socket for it, just fell in and I... I don't know how I'm gonna try and fix it. I don't know whether it is worth fixing or whether everything's glued down. Um, but I'm gonna get, see if I can fix it first before I go about buying a new one. Um, yes, this is the M Audio Oxygen 49, and it it's done really well. Um, it had done really well until it died, and I would purchase it again. Um, or if I was really vying for something and if I could have whatever I wanted, I would have something slightly maybe a little bit sturdier in build but um, it had lasted a really long time for for a piece of kit so gosh I can't remember which which these are um, they're cut they're like the middle of range one um, so like not the, the least expensive um, and not the most expensive like the middle range um, and they're really good, they're so good. Like if you're not someone who does music production and you're not interested in music production and you're never gonna do it, I would still so recommend like a really good pair of headphones because they change your life forever. Just being able to listen to music through really good headphones. So yes, this is what I would class as like being the thing that I would use for audio equipment and for like recording all of my music and creating tracks basically. I really do like Audio Technica and um, and I would highly recommend them. The software that I use to record on is Logic. I find Logic to be the easiest. I way prefer Logic to um, Pro Tools. When I first started uni and like getting into production, 
pro-tool, I just couldn't get behind. It doesn't feel as, as intuitive as, um, as logic. So that's why I have logic. You really like watching what other people have in their home studio. And this is really simple. My setup is so simple, but I do love watching these videos. So yeah.